What is up guys, Cleef101 here, and today I am bringing you episode 75, three quarters of the way to 100 of Road to Remake. And last episode, we had to fight a weapon, and now we're in the middle of an earthquake, and things are going horribly, horribly wrong, so we gotta get the hell out of here. So we're just gonna jump straight back into things. Ready, Cleef? We're leaving. Now! Oh my god, the ground is just going. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Cloud looks worried as shit. He's not even there. Ah. Wow. Make that a third trip into the live stream for Cloud Strife. Well, second trip into the live stream, third trip for potential Marco poisoning. Wow, that guy is one tough dude. No wonder he's fucked up. But the positive thing is we get to learn the real cloud strife in this sequence. But I doubt we'll be able to finish that in this episode. <laughs> Where am I? What's happening? I... I... Hmm? Where's Cleef? Cleef, where are you? Who? What? Who is... I, I can't hear. It's important to note that all these sounds that you're hearing is uh, is the live stream. The live stream obviously being where the dead people go, like their souls and everything. Wait a minute, I know nothing about that. No, no it's not me, I'd never do anything like that. That's why you can hear animals and stuff here too. No, stop it, stay back. Somebody help, please. So the reactions that Tifa is happening here is why Cloud is the way that he is. He's lost his his personality due to the effects of the live stream. Cleef, help me. Uh, uh. And here we go. We're now in the subconscious mind of Cloud Strife. What is happening? Oh, where am I? C Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this the inside of your dreams? Or is it your subconsciousness? You're searching, aren't you, Cleef? Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll help. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But where do we start? We start up here. The gates of Nibelheim. Five years ago. Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right. It's probably best to start from there. It's been a while since I've had to use my own voice. <laughs> Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. Really, really pay attention to this entire sequence here, guys. It's so important. Cloud, look. Here's the well. And that's Gramps Inn, too. The only truck in town? It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. Oh, yeah, okay. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and 
A young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? Hmm. How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. So how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth. But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. I remember a foreboding about him. Stop, bitches. No. No, Cloud. I've, I've been hiding it for some time. Afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go. Zack Fair. Remember the guy in the photo? You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't... Cleef? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cleef. Slowly. Little by little, okay? Alright, so that's one piece of the puzzle. I think this is the next piece of the puzzle. A sealed up secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Nope, not you. Must be you. That starry night at the well and our promises. What if the memory was all just a lie? Don't hurry, Cleef. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions and it'll come back. Slowly. Little by little. Right. Like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. Yeah. Starlight. Star bright. First star I see the night. From the beginning, okay? <coughs> Try and remember, Cloud. I keep swapping between Cloud and Cleef. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was wearing these clothes. That's you, too. You were so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cleef made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this sky? No. You remembered it. That night the stars were gorgeous, it was just Cloud and I, we talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim, but you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. No they are not, which is why he's going to come up with a memory that we have not seen before. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake. If he could recall up that memory. That's it. What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something, and I remember it too, then we'll know that's a memory. Talk to me about anything. 
some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought that it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I, th I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? You. Me? Why? Celie, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Little Cloud. Nay, nay, it's alright. You were having a hard time back then. That's my childlike voice. You were so busy with your own things. It's only natural you don't remember me then. I have no idea how well that sounds. Probably absolutely atrocious. Then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Okay. Come on, hurry. I'm getting there. A sealed up secret wish. T tender memories. No one can ever know. talking to you? Nope. I tried talking to you before, but you did not want to talk to me. Do you know where this window goes to, Seely? Fine, I'll go. This is such good animating technology for 1997. I mean, look at that. Zooming in to the pre-rendered background. How awesome is that? My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey. Hey, look. Hey, look. Cleve's coming. You think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We live next door to each other, but I didn't really know you that well. I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. But that's not really true now, is it, Seelig? Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Seelig always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every stupid thing. But we were children then. I know, I was the stupid one. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me in the group. Then later, I started thinking I was different, that I was different from those immature kids. That then, maybe... Just maybe, they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night I asked Seelig to come out to the well. I thought to myself, Seelig would never come. That she hated me. It was so sudden. I was a bit surprised. Okay guys, I'm going to leave this video here, this episode here. We're about halfway through piecing Cloud back together again. Please, if this is intriguing you, you need to watch this into the next episode as it only gets better from there. But in the meantime, I will leave you here. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. I'm Cleef101 and I will see you next time. Bye.